In TerraScan tool Add Synthetic Point can be used to fill up empty holes in your data. This video introduces the tool and its use with two examples. In this first example, the tool is used to generate points under bridges to fill holes in ground glass. When we look at cross sections of the data, next to a bridge we have nice continuous ground, but at the position of a bridge, the bridge deck occludes visibility of the airborne system to the ground, and we have a hole in the ground point class. To fix the issue, we first label all holes in the ground with polygons to mark to which areas we want to insert points to prevent insertion of points to undesired places. We could run the tool for the whole dataset, but then we would end up inserting points also the holes caused by building roofs. After we have drawn bounding polygons for point addition, we choose all polygons active and start Add Synthetic Point tool. In the tool, we choose the target class, desired point spacing, and elevation interpolation method. In this example, we interpolate elevation values from existing ground points. Finally, click to a CAD view accepts the synthetic point generation. After running the tool, we have regular grid of points in the target class. In the second example, we insert points to a water body area where laser has not got response from non-reflective water surface. Again, we draw a bounding polygon for point addition to ensure that we get synthetic points only to a desired area. In the second example, we insert points to constant elevation to simulate water surface. It's possible to calculate the value from near nearby points, type the value, or define it by clicking to an existing point. This example uses the last alternative. Again, after defining the settings for point addition, click to a view, and in this case, click to an existing point, accepts tool settings, and finalizes point generation. After tool execution, all holes in existing data exceeding the size of desired point spacing are filled with synthetic points. After these two simple edits, we have a nice continuous point cloud and our analysis won't suffer from holes in the point cloud.